Hey guys, it's me again, Ashrish, the creator of India and Pixels. And this video is an update to what new features have I built in IIPmaps.com. Uh, some of you were asking, we have been waiting in the wait list for two days. What's up? So we are working on your account. Give us some time. Um, at best, you can expect, I think, somewhere around 14th, 15th February, around Valentine's Day. That's when you'll get uh, the access. Uh, so through this video, you can get to know what features are coming up and, uh, yeah, so that you don't have to spend time learning it when you get access. All right. So the first feature is we allow you to change fonts. Say, uh, so far, all the maps that you see on IAP maps had just one, uh, boring font, but not, uh, anymore on the styling tab under labels you will have something called font name and you will have a load of fonts with the preview and you can make different kinds of maps with them so you can prefer something big and blocky like rubik or something really cute like uh, mukta or if you are more of a cursive person then you know, why not? So be creative, you know, this is to give you more options. The second uh, thing some of you requested was a merge editor. So what is merge editor? Under the data tab, you will see uh, the merge tab. Um, you know what? Let's go to a new project for, for India. And I think that will make it super clear. So under merge you see a couple of options and this is essentially how do you want to merge states you might want to do this when your data does not have the details for a specific region which is maybe uh, like a new district and the data does not have it in that case you would want to merge the new district with the old district for example um, in 2019 was it 2019 when Ladakh got separated from uh, Jammu and Kashmir, if you look at a lot of data before, you don't have data for Ladakh for this map here, for example, female obesity in India. So what you do is you just check merge Jammu and Kashmir together and, you know, you have it. If you uncheck it, you will see like there will be another uh, bifurcation for Ladakh. And because the data does not have it, it'll be great. By the way, we also introduced another feature, which I'll come back to about how do you want to handle uh, missing data, but we'll come immediately after this. All right. Uh, so you could do this for different sort of pre-existing uh, bifurcation maps, like merge UP and Uttarakhand and assign it to UP. So here you see the boundary between Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh has disappeared. Uh, you can also edit a merge logic and you could include more things to it like maybe you create something hypothetical and let's say what if Madhya Pradesh was also united with Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand and if you save it tada, you see like the entire region becomes Uttar Pradesh so what are we going to do with it well show me be creative uh, right so that was a merge logic now coming back to again how do we want to handle states like this so what we could do is um, in the styling tab under values there is an option called how to handle zeros so if you click it it has three options do you show them normally do you show them as a gray state or do you hide the state so if i do hide the state then you know this essentially goes away but there's an outline which is the new feature if you if you if you see at the map you'll see like the outer layer has like a thick outline to it now ideally when you hide the state this outline should also disappear but that is a work in progress i think this is not uh you know the recommended experience but we'll work on it all right, so uh, that was the merge editor logic. You could also add new merge rules and, you know, you can be creative. And you can also merge uh, states which are not neighboring to each other. So let's say if you want to merge Odisha and Karnataka, which are not, uh, you know, neighboring, 
and let's say we'll call it Odisha and save it, what you see is that Karnataka goes away because now this is an extension of Odisha. So this sort of, uh, now if you change the data for Odisha, like if you make it 56, uh, even Karnataka's data will change. So that's sort of like an enclave, exclave logic, right? All right, so that was Merge Editor and I showed you how to handle uh, data points which have zero in them, um, except the outline needs to also be updated. Anyway, the third feature that is new is the library tab. So the library tab in the last video just had images. You know, you could add these cute little Bulbasaurs and Charmanders and, and Krishna. Um, but now we have a data library and the data library is a predefined set of data sets that has been curated by Indian Pixels, which you can just explore, uh, which you can use as inspiration. So these are always going to be there. Uh, and this list is constantly going to, uh, you know, go up. So the one idea here was because when you get a new account there won't be any maps for you to try and you'll have to uh, start everything from scratch and that might be a bit confusing so these things will always be here this is kind of like sample data uh, now the fourth feature that we introduced was we improved the translations so for example let's say let me take a data here right uh percentage of women in police force in each state now i'm not sure if you know but you, in one click you can change this whole language of this data and how do you do that under the styling tab you go uh, under labels you'll have all these options uh, that the map can be translated in so let's say we want to translate it to hindi so if you do it hindi the labels will change of all the states but the enter text box uh, that won't change just yet. For that, you'll have to click on translate your texts to Hindi. And once you do that, ta-da! You know, so it's it's one click. Oh, and we also made this more fluid. So it just feels better when you increase the font size. Yep. So that's how quick it is. Now, some tiny suggestions. Uh, under the prefix tab, now we have a couple of suggestions like mostly you might use it to add currency symbols so if you add like a rupee you know you get something like this uh or if you don't want percentage you can have something else i don't know why you would want that but now these have suggestions initially they did not another cool feature is uh under the map tab of styling you can now scale the the map uh to large and Oh, okay. Something for me to work on to add decimal point. But yes, you can change the scale. And the cool thing is don't have to add manually here like this. You can just hover on top of the label and you can drag it from left to right. And look how cool it feels. Ah, oh, this feels so good. All right, cool. And then you can also translate the map from going left, right, or upper niche so you can basically position your map uh, in your canvas okay uh what next what next oh we allow you to save the palette some of you on the last video said you really liked the name of these palettes uh, like kolkata jodhpur jaipur kochi dikane you know i it's i just felt what vibe of a city does a palette capture was that right? No, no. What what kind of hue do I think of when I think of a, a city? And that's how I name them. But so could you do that. Is that right, English? What, uh, the way it works is, uh, is you click on a palette and you can change these colors, right? So, for example, if you don't want violet ka shades, uh, let's, let's make it like a yellow green sort of uh, thing. So we will change this like this. So it's basically clicking on the color stops and uh, specifying which color do you want. 
Now you could apply this and this thing will be applied here. But let's say um, you want to save this. For example, right now, if you do a new project, Bikaner ka old data will be back here. And let's say you want to keep this yellow green thing. So you would click on save as new. And to this, you could name, what should we name it? It gives me Punjab vibes. So I want to call it Amritsar. Right. And then if I save it, you will see that in some time Amritsar is saved. And when I do new project, the next time I load it, Amritsar is still here. So that's how you can, uh, you know, create new palettes in your project. So I am curious about the lovely colors and fonts and, you know, all these things that you're going to do. All right. All right. Uh, oh, one final cool thing is uh, having keyboard shortcuts, right? So sometimes like just hovering and like clicking on these buttons might seem like really boring. Uh, so we will update these shortcut keys. Uh, these are kind of messy right now. But anywhere over the project, if you, if you click command plus S or control plus S, the project will be saved. And, uh, you know, uh, that we are used to this in all software. So why not our uh, IIP maps? So these are all the eight features that I had to demo uh, them to you. I hope you appreciate the product thinking that is going behind. And my full focus is to make the experience of creating a map really, really enjoyable, which it is not. It is like a lot of, oh, the boundary is wrong, oh, this coloring is difficult, oh, figuring out this is hard. So, you know, I am excited for you to try it. All right, I will see you in a subsequent video. Please join the waitlist iipmaps.coms. What? No, iipmaps.com, I-I-P-M-A-P-S dot C-O-M. Uh, join the waitlist 2000. 200 people have already signed up and I'm really, really excited for you to join them as well. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay.